there are a lot of millennials right now who are trying to have kids. Mm -hmm. How do they look after their gut so that their babies are impacted in the right way? Because yeah. there's a big link, isn't there, to our gut and our baby's gut when we're pregnant or even after we're pregnant because we're breastfeeding. Yeah, absolutely. And or I don't want to put pressure on, on yeah. new mums anymore, right? Um, but there is really good scientific evidence out there that mum's diet actually does impact um, not only, you know, bub's health, but also bub's preferences of taste preferences when they're delivered, right? What? Um, yeah. It's amazing where they've actually done studies and shown that, you know, mums who've had like things like garlic, um, when baby comes out, it's more garlic accepting of the flavor if their mum had it compared to if they didn't. So it is incredible how the body works. And like I said, I don't want to put extra pressure on, mm -hmm. but like morning sickness and things like that, you know, it's tough. But yes. what I say where you can sneak in those extra plants. So things like egg frittata, I pretty much lived on that when I was um, really? you know, having morning sickness and add in the butter beans, all the roast veg, all that sort of stuff. So wherever you can, you know, smoothies, don't just have the fruit in there, get some frozen cauliflower. You can't even taste it. It kind of like all blends up and it makes it creamy, the frozen no cauliflower. Way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frozen cauliflower in a yeah. smoothie. Honestly, give it a try. I might actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. I never thought of that yeah. one. So it's like all the ways to add plants in, particularly if you're unwell, that actually will start to have an impact on, on babies' health.